That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, the kids are gonna love that. Not the dog, the birds. Yep, that's the sound of summer. I think today we're gonna try out a new pool fountain. Okay, so if you're familiar with my DIY uh, fountain video, I made that. I had a company reach out to me and send me a new fountain that goes on your return. So let's set that up, let's check it out and see if it's worth it. So the fine people at thepoolhacker.com reached out to me a few months ago and they saw my DIY fountain video that I filmed and they said, hey, you did a really good job with that. Could we send you with a fountain and would you review it for us and tell us what you think? And I said, absolutely. So they sent it to me, so let's check it out. Here's the package that it arrives in, inside another box, obviously. So here's your instructions. Um, by the way, forgive the barking dog. He knows not what he barks. It's just a dog. It's my neighbor's dog. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, so here's your instructions. Very easy. Okay, so if you have a regular Intex pool, it probably comes with uh, a return that looks similar to this right here. Um, they also There are pools that have this return. I have both of these. I have this on the pool currently. This return that I have is a little bit tighter, so it gets a little bit more of a jet. But with that new um, Viver filter that I put on, that sucker's so powerful. I went back to this because that was like jetting across the whole pool. I mean, it works great, but uh, for this review, I went ahead and put this back on. Okay, so very simple instructions. So with the instructions, here's all your parts. So this is the part that is going to screw. We're going to unscrew the return that's on there now, the face. This is going to screw in there. This will screw into this part here. And here, you're gonna have some return water coming out of here. It's not all gonna come out of the fountain. Um, that way you can control the pressure with this thing, because this thing swivels. So you're gonna screw this on there. Water's gonna come out of here. It's also gonna feed up into here, which will then feed up into this T, which will then get dispersed out to these two ends. So let's go ahead and hook it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the return cover. You're gonna unscrew that off. Just like that. The part that comes with the fountain will screw onto the inside threads here. Just like that. Get on there pretty tight. Okay. So now as you can see, this part swivels. So you can make this opening, I can't do it with one hand. This, you turn it, makes the opening bigger. You turn it, makes it smaller. So you can control the flow of your water coming out. Don't judge me, I have to vacuum. Okay, so let's go ahead and Okay, now you can see that. See how I'm adjusting that? That's what I was talking about there. So we're going to turn it a little bit more because I want the jet facing, you know, this way. So there we go. Got that part on. And just so you know, this part here is also on a swivel, okay? There's a little ball in here and you tighten it with this part right here, okay? You loosen it, you can adjust this more and you tighten it down to make it solid. So I want it sticking straight up here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this part on here before we put the top part on. You have these little nuts right here, okay? You have to feed those in like that, okay? And then this tightens down around the end. Okay, so let me explain something to you real quick. You see how it's bowed a little bit like that? Okay. Let's say that's the inside of the pool. If I install the top of it like this, it's going to cross spray. It's going to meet in the middle when they cross spray. If I install it like this, it's going to spread out like that. You understand? So there's all your little holes. So the spray is going to come out there on both sides. And again, it's adjustable. If you want it to cross spray, 
you turn it like this and you put it on the thing and you rotate these towards the pool. If you want it, like I'm gonna do it, to just both flow out in their own direction, you do it like this. So let's go put it on top. Okay, so obviously I had to do that without filming because, you know, I only have two hands. So it screws in right here, get it nice and snug. This looks like it's made with very strong plastic. It looks very durable. Now, however, I will be honest in saying, it's on the pool pretty good. Do not let your kids jump around this and hang on it because I'm sure it can damage right here, okay? So let's fire it up and let's test it out. Now for the moment of truth. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so if you look down in here, Here's our flow, okay? Just like I told you, it's gonna come out of this little hole here. And I'm getting, you know, the nice thing about this is you get a good whirlpool just coming out of your jet right here where some of the pool nozzles, they kind of go that way or some even go straight. To turn it sideways will really get a whirlpool going. So now, to adjust this flow, you have to close that hole down a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna close it and we'll come back. That is what it looks like tightened up. So obviously, okay, when you tighten it up, you're gonna get less circulation through the pool because the majority of water is coming through the fountain. But look at that, I mean, it shoots really pretty far into the pool. It's a very steady stream. That looks really good. I mean, for the money, you can't beat this. This thing is under $30 on Amazon. Super easy to install, as you can see. I mean, if I wasn't filming this, I probably would have had it done in less than five minutes, honestly. Um, the plastic, again, looks very durable. I can see it holding up. Again, the only thing I would caution is if you got a lot of kids playing around the pool, warn them several times not to hang on this or to bounce off of it, okay? Just enjoy the, the fountain. They're gonna be out there playing with it. And on a hot day, I can see this cool in the pool off pretty, you know, pretty quickly. How cool does that look? So again, to wrap this video up, I give it an A+. Plus. I really, I think, for the money, you can't beat it. It's not like this is a $100 add-on to your pool. This is something under $30. I will put a link in the description to this on Amazon. I'll also put a link to their website. Uh, you could check out other stuff that they offer on their website. So um, I like it. The kids will like it. I uh, can't wait to see what it looks like with the lights on tonight. And that is how cool it looks at nighttime.